What up my friends, this is Ron with Crossroads Media and welcome back to the coast. That's right, we've been on a little hiatus here for the last couple weeks. We did some traveling for weddings, went up to Kentucky and visited with some family and friends, had a great time. But let me tell you, I am so happy to be back on the saltwater. It sure does feel like home. And man, oh man, what a great morning I had. I was just going out this morning, really with the idea to target maybe a speckled trout, uh, maybe a Spanish mackerel, just something that I could throw together for lunch today. I've got a busy day of editing, got some friends coming over for dinner tonight. So I was really just wanting some fresh fish to have for lunch. And we were able to do that. Unfortunately, for those of you who've ever been out fishing with me, I kind of have this little rule where I don't actually get a camera out until I catch my first fish. I feel like, it's a, I don't know, I guess it's a jinx or something like that. So. Of course, the first fish I caught was an 18 inch speckled trout and this dude was awesome. Unfortunately, I didn't have the camera even out or rolling when I caught him, but great speckled trout. Then I went, I did catch another big speckled trout, some blue runners, just a great day on the water and really never left Bayou Chico right here by my house. Did go out in the bay just a little bit. I knew these storms were gonna kind of push through and make it a little hard and choppy to get out there. So with that being said, you guys kick back, enjoy the video. See you on the flip side. looking for right here. I've already caught one speckled trout this morning. I'm hoping I can get into some more. That is just a little blue runner there. They got some gnarly teeth on them and uh, I don't know that I've ever caught one of those up here in Bayou Chico like that. So Nice fish. Nice blow up, guys. That was a good one right there. He almost hit that thing like a topwater. I was just like kind of pop popping and letting it drop, and he just kind of rushed right there. Smoke quality blue runner right there. I'm gonna try to let this guy go off the floor. That is another nice speckled trout, y'all. Oh, I thought I had the camera on my head rolling. I did not. Um, dang it. Really wish I'd have had a hook up on that. Man, guys, that is a stud speckled trout right there. Man, oh man, I'm gonna check and see if he's legal. I got one in the cooler right now. Uh, this is gonna be lunch. Dang it. Don't jerk the hook. Put my what? Oh, uh, you had a Spanish. Best thing about ladyfish guys is they will jump for you. They're the poor man's tarpon all the way around, so. Oh, look at them blowing up on it, man. I'm, I'm just gonna catch where I was. Get some nice aerials today. 
Ah, he spit that one, but that's okay. Just a ladyfish. Oh, and another one's already on. Ladyfish are thick right here, obviously. Oh, oh, there's a tail right there. Oh, shit. Didn't even know I was on. I saw a, there's a something was tailing right there in front of me and didn't even realize I had another ladyfish on. Nice jumps right there. Oh, he almost jumped in the boat. <laughs> Easy killer. Yeah. All right, guys, so it was a great morning out on the water. As I told you, it felt so good to be back in the salt water and just back at home waters in general. Uh, my goal this morning was to go out and catch a fish, bring him home and cook him up for lunch. And that's exactly what I did. I caught a couple nice speckled trout. That first one, I didn't have the camera on. As I told you guys, I kind of have a rule of thumb. I don't turn the camera on or even get one out for that matter until I catch the first fish. It just so happened this morning that the first fish was an 18 inch trout. So. Still got him in the cooler, getting ready to fillet him up. We also got another nice like 18 and a half spec trout that we're gonna cook up. So a speckled trout is super, super easy to clean. Much like a mackerel or something like that. Just wanna work right down that backbone. Now I know I'm gonna get hate for using an electric knife, but you know what, that's okay. That's what I like to use, so. First thing I do once I get the filet cut off is go ahead and just cut this belly meat off. Um, super easy to get off, especially with an electric filet knife. And then I run my finger right there, make sure I got all the bones out. The one thing I cannot handle is bones in my fish. So I know I give up a little bit of meat by doing it that way, but I prefer to do that because I just do not like to have any chance of that, that bone getting um, or being left when I eat the fish. The kids won't do it. If they was to get a bone, they would be done. Um, and I'm not crazy about it either, so. That is a couple hearty trout fillets right there, y'all. Today we're we caught a trout. We're gonna cook a trout, but for right now we're gonna go ahead and do the sides. We're gonna do some asparagus with some olive oil and salt and pepper. But for now, we're gonna batter our fish. We got some flour, some pepper, some salt, and some sloppy mama seasoning. So we're gonna do about four things of sloppy mama. Then we're gonna put the flour into a bowl. And a little secret is that I add some cornmeal to my flour. So we cut them into nuggets and now we're ready to fry them. Okay, 
Okay guys, the fish is ready to flip, so we're just going to go ahead and start flipping. Hey guys, I just fried up some little trout nuggets and it's time to try it. It's good.